Hi, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on pin events uh, in, with the BBC micro bit. Uh, a pin event is input that you can provide to the micro bit by touching the pins on the edge of the board. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Oops, there we go. Show you what I mean. After I turn on my camera, nice. Okay. So you see these these little like copper contacts here? These are these are called pins uh, in the microbit parlance. You can't they're, they're reflective, so they're and they're reflecting my light. So it's a little hard to see. Uh, they're, they're they're numbered. You, know, you have zero all the way to the left, one, and then two. Um, you can, uh, look at the simulator; again, it's a little bit easier to see. Um, and you can actually have the microbit perform you know sequences of code when uh, the when someone touches those pins. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and grab an event block. If you've done stuff with buttons before, uh, then it's, this is going to be very similar. If you haven't, you can check out uh, other resources linked in the description. Uh, I'll just do some icons here to make this a little bit easy. We'll do sad face for pin zero, and then happy face for pin one. There's happy face, beautiful. Um, in the simulator, pretty easy. Pin zero, sad face, pin one, happy face, no problem. Pre pretty straightforward, uh, nothing to worry about there. Now, you can also do the opposite. We can do uh, released on pin released. So these are on pin pressed. So when, when something presses the pin, uh, then the code is triggered, or the micro bit triggers the code. Uh, and then we can also do when someone lets the pin go, it does something different. So this will be a little bit, uh, a little bit different. We'll just we'll do show string for this one. Uh, when I do pin two, if I click, I'll try to click loud so you can hear it. Nothing happens. But then when I release, hello, beautiful. We get our scrolling string. So um, that's all well and good. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on the micro bit though, and you'll be able to see. what I uh, like what I mean because there's some cool things here that aren't especially uh, obvious so I've already downloaded my file you can see it there I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over to the micro bit and then uh, we'll wait for those yellow lights to stop flashing and you'll be able to see uh, how this works so um, get my microphone situated excuse the noise okay so I have my uh, micro bit there it is, um, and I should be able, I think it's done uploading, uh, I should be able to do my pins. Pressed, not quite, it's not quite doing it. Pin zero, pin one, mm. oh, there we go, pin two worked. Sometimes your hands, they aren't quite, they aren't gonna quite do it. Um, so let's try pin one. Can we get, can we get pin one? Mm. It's not, it's not wanting me. So you need to take some trial and error. I guess my, my, but what the thing I wanted to show you is that you can perform these touch events with anything that's conductive. Pin two was working before. I wonder why, I wonder why it's not working. Hmm. Hmm. Concerning. Maybe my hands are too... I'm gonna dry them off just a little bit. No, it didn't work either. All right, let me try it with my alligator clip. Clip this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, alligator clip worked good. Okay, maybe I just wasn't touching it enough. So the alligator clip is conductive, right? So if I clip it to the pin and then I touch the end of it, uh, then it's gonna let me do the uh, do the event. Let's do a, let's do the same thing over here. Uh, I got pin one, and this should be happy face. Man, oh, I'm missing something important. It only works if you connect the pin to ground. This is super crucial. See, <laughs> that's what I was messing up. 
Yeah, so troubleshooting, trial and error. Okay, so if I connect pin one to ground, I get a happy face. If I connect pin zero to ground, I get my sad face. And then when pin two gets disconnected, and it's a little bit tricky, um, see if I can see if I can get this to work. A little bit finicky. Oh, I'm still scrolling the background. There we go. So there's a lot to play with there. Now the thing the thing that you should be thinking about is are there creative ways for me to connect the pins to this ground pin over here? Are there some interesting ways I can you know, use conductive materials to make that work. Um, so be creative, try stuff out, and uh, definitely make sure you remember, unlike I did, that connecting to ground, that is the key. That's, that's what makes that work. So that is basically the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, adjust my microphone. If you have any questions or you run into any problems, please let us know. We would love to help. Otherwise, good luck and happy coding.